Either outside the store, any shot inside the store. Right. Crazy. In Buffalo, Peyton Gendron accused of killing 10 in a supermarket. Acquaintances say he once stabbed and decapitated a feral cat with a hunting knife and posted a picture of it on social media. In Uvalde, Salvador Ramos murdered 19 school children and two teachers. Classmates say he loved hurting animals, beat a little dog senseless, and posted video of dead cats on a social media platform. In Parkland, Nicholas Cruz, who murdered 14 high school students and three adults. How do you wish to plead? I plead guilty. Neighbors say he first shot squirrels, then chickens, and stabbed rabbits with long sticks. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. The chief of animal services in Loudoun County. Hey, sweetie. Her name's Rita. He spent years traveling the country. Ah, partner. Teaching officers about the link. Pretty big lizard there. Between animal cruelty and human violence. Using this as a red flag, we might save lives. Absolutely, absolutely. The chief points to 24-year-old Michael Bowles of Luckett's, Virginia, who admitted to attacking his family dog long before he murdered his dad. Two years prior to killing his father and setting the house on fire, he stabbed his family dog in the throat. We know that everybody that abuses animals does not end up going on to, to perpetrate these horrible crimes, but there's enough of that correlation that we have to pay attention to it. This is the remains of a dog at Jeffrey Dahmer's boyhood home. Right. Randall Lockwood. The overlooked warning signs. Literally wrote the book on the link. Cruelty to animals and interpersonal violence. Nearly a quarter century ago. Nailed animals to trees. He had killed cats and dogs. And he just said, take this seriously. He says uh, serial crap. killer Keith Jesperson personally warned him that he'd started his violent spree by attacking animals. The greater the torture, the more intimate the violence right. the more alarmed you would be absolutely yeah stealing a neighbor's dog wiring its mouth shut with piano wire or duct tape and then setting fire to it lockwood says the correlation is highest among young white perpetrators of mass violence about 35 percent of them have a documented prior history of animal cruelty it was just mystifying to me how how the insides of the animal looked. There was a sort of ex uh, general excitement for me. I don't know why. Serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer, who murdered and dismembered 17 men and boys, cut apart animals as a child. I remember I shook his hand, and this is a man who'd taken the number of lives by strangling him to death. Johns Hopkins psychiatrist Fred Berlin interviewed Dahmer. He cautions against drawing a straight line between what he calls Dahmer's fascination with anatomy and dissecting animals and his compulsion to murder humans, which he says was driven by something very different necrophilia. Mr. Dahmer had a preoccupation with the anatomy of both animals and uh, human beings, but the sexual activity itself was confined to being with human beings who had passed away or whose life he had taken. Animal abuse now a felony across the country. The FBI collecting data, judges and prosecutors seeking punishment and treatment for abusers. We can only hope it will make a difference. Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9.